another vlog so today I wanted to kind of like just take you on a vlog kind of situation today and then um, I wanted to show you a new handbag reveal typically I like to do like unboxings but I wasn't really even thinking about showing you guys I was kind of just I wanted it for it's a late Mother's Day gift to me and uh, yeah so it just came in so I will do a little bag reveal it is Prada my a new brand that I've never tried before um, and I'll talk about that more when I show you the bag reveal and then yeah, we'll probably it's really late in the day Anyways, it's kind of like five o'clock or so and I just came back from Denver to see my stylist I love her. She's so sweet and so we put a little bit of layers into my hair and What I wanted to do because I haven't cut my hair in like over seven months or so and what I wanted to really do was to you know um, was to basically Put my hair be able to put my hair up in like a, a pie bun or like just put it up so I could have a little bit of hair hanging down do a cute bun like this maybe and then just have like a little few like wispy hairs hairs on the side because typically I just have like you know a little bit cuter than that but usually my hair is like all the way back so I wanted a little bit of depth and dimension in my hair but nicer than that you know what I mean so anyways um I am going to show you my new handbag and before I did that has your cat ever left a gift for you because I literally just got home from Denver and El Gato left me a dead bird on a dead sparrow on the floor so it smells like chemicals in here because I just literally um, clean, uh, cleaned the floors but anyways I keep touching my hair sorry that's very annoying I'm going to show you my new bag and then we'll probably take you guys on a picnic and then um, I actually wanted to, will I address this on this vlog? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so, let me fix my hair a little bit. So the handbag that I got is vintage and I have been wanting this bag for a very long time. Uh, Prada just reissued like, you know, the new versions of this bag and basically, you know, they're known for their nylon. So I got this vintage Prada backpack like this. It's so cute. It's so tiny and I wanted to get it new because I saw like Khloe Kardashian, was it Khloe or Courtney? It was Courtney carrying it and she basically had a smaller version of this that's new and then had like a chain, a silver chain on it so you could wear it crossbody or you can wear it um, like a back, like a ha top handle. I don't think you can use it as a backpack but I'll insert a picture here and then um, I saw the prices of the new Prada backpacks. Wasn't sure about nylon because I feel like nylon kind of just doesn't wear well and also um, the prices points were too much for what I wanted to spend on a, a brand that I've never had before. So I started looking on eBay, a lot of options. Um, some of the colors were faded, some were like not like in great condition, some had like, but this one's in really, really good condition. Um, obviously there's some wear to it, like a little um, denting on the straps, but I will just probably steam that. And then it did come with a card which I'm really happy about. Um, the only thing is, like, I can't, I love buying vintage because it's so affordable. The problem is that sometimes they come with a smell. And, like, this one said there was no, like, musky odors, but it said that there was, like, a closet smell. And I wasn't sure. I have, like, 30 days to return it. However, like, the smell, I can't stand, like, closet or dirty smells. And this definitely has, like, a closet smell. And so in the past, I have had vintage bags that I have had smells in them. I would either use my odor remover uh, thing that I have inside, and um, I'll show you in just a little bit, and it removes odors. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And then I've even gone to the point of like washing my Fendi Mama baguette. It was in all black. I just put it in the washing machine. Don't recommend that, but it worked out great for me because it was a cloth bag. There was some leather, and I just took it out and like let it air dry. So 
I have had this odor bag in here for like two days or so and the odor is kind of more on the outside. It's not a stinky smell, it's just like a closet like your grandma smell. And so I am contemplating either returning it or maybe putting it in the washing machine. And for how much I paid, I'm kind of okay like taking a risk for that. But anyways, more into the bag. So this is like, I think it's 11 by 11 inches, pretty tiny. And I will do a comparison of this bag uh, when, I'll do a comparison of this bag when I do my backpack comparisons because I absolutely love backpacks. I'm really into that. I like this because I think it's more like low key, like honestly, it's hard to see the logo from a distance. It looks like a plain black bag. Um, I really like this because it is like a buckle removable strap. Like you can, you know, unclop, like it's a buckle, but it's, oh, excuse me. It's also magnetic too. And then same thing with this, these, they're unbuckable. Is that even a word? Unbuckable. Like you can buckle it and then there's magnets too. So, and then there's a drawstring and then inside is just basically like this really black, hole and this is where I have the odor remover pack so you gotta let it sit in the sun to activate and then you put it inside your bag to remove odors and then inside it has the Prada logo and this is Prada Prada inside and then inside the zipper it has the oh, my my guitars right here Shh. inside it has the Prada card and then it comes with um, the, I'm gonna cover the code so you can't see, but basically the two Prada cards. And it says Vila and Nero, I believe. And um, the uh, bag number as well. I uh, bought it on eBay from a reputable, like highly, highly reputable seller. I think like 14,000 sales and 90% like positive feedback. So um, again, you know, do your research on what you think is authentic. Um, do tons of research if you want to buy vintage. And I have a whole like video on how to buy vintage bags. And also always authenticate again, even though Japan like has highly rated uh, sellers and it's illegal to sell anything that's fake. Still do your due diligence and watch out for, you know, for that. Um, so the hardware is all like silver and it has Prada on it all silver and what I was thinking about doing was getting like a HRH bag chain maybe in like silver or many maybe like her ice chains and then connecting it on the little clasp in the drawstring drawstring so then I could have like a little like top handle however the straps that I have are too like small on the clasp and I really like how Alex has like the uh, thicker like rings so you can actually connect the the uh strap better so i think that'd be so cute maybe like silver or like color i'm not sure but use it as like even a, like a shoulder strap bag so yeah that's what i was thinking i think this is so adorable but i am working on the scent of this whole thing so i shall let you guys know um working on some rehab on this but other than that a little like nicks here and there on the side of the bag like a little um I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see on this side there's a little like fur coming out not fur but like strings coming out but really other than that it's in really really good vintage condition and yeah I'm really happy with it so we're just gonna work on the odor update you guys and then we're gonna go to the park and I'll work on another video for you guys updating you on this but I just think this is a great option to buy vintage rather than like buying new if you're not so sure about a brand if you guys know what i mean Alrighty, righty i'll see you in a little bit we're going to the park our daily picnic and park sometimes Daddy. we do sometimes we don't and my kitty and, and what kitty. do we play at, at the park kitty kitty what do we play justice where are you i can't even see you <laughs> what do we play at the park atlee we're gonna play at the park kitty and and spike ball and this and football and, and, and alice yeah. and yeah We'll show you. And Barry. Hey, honey. What? You ready for me to beat you in spike ball? <laughs> I, you never wanted on my team. I don't understand. Because we're too good. No, I don't like that. <laughs> we'll see you at the park. Yeah. <sighs>
we're not at the park. We're at the house. I love, love, love this view. Oh my gosh. So my favorite, can you even see? Maybe. My favorite is just like being able to see the houses over there and then the city on that side. Heading to the park, uh, I will tell you that the nature has been very much a godsend for me. It's been keeping me very sane through all this like times. It is like maybe 70 right now. This is our little driveway into Boulder. And we like to go to like three different parks. One park Mommy, is closer, some like it. 10 minutes away. We're like Mama maybe 15 minutes away it. from Boulder. Meow, meow. Oh, you see the kitty? Meow, meow, meow. meow. But waiting for everybody because the door is locked. You hear the, the birds? You hear the crickets? Uh huh. We are at our favorite park called Nobo. Nobo Park or something? North Boulder Park. North, Bo North Boulder Park? Yes. And the reason we like it is because we play football. Well. And we play spike ball and all these other things, but the best part is the view. This is not our usual spot. Usually we're over where all those people are. Hi, Drew. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I love this view. Hello. Hello. My favorite park, I like Chautauqua. Hi. Hi. And I like foothills. But everyone says it's so quiet. Drew likes it here because he, he likes the ladies here. <laughs> it's like kidding. a party every night. Is it like a party every night? Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, it's like going to the beach in Boulder. So, All right, let me get my hair ready for spike ball. Hi, Justice. I've been wanting to borrow this shirt from her. Stand up real quick. Stand up. I like literally love this shirt. <laughs> may steal it from her <laughs> or borrow it. You, you may like, see it in the next video. <laughs> you like this ball? Yeah. This is Drew's shirt. He gave it to me because it doesn't fit. I like it a lot. That's Drew. And this is me. It's a little son. The little what? And the little son. I thought you said the little son. They actually came with us when I bought that shirt. Oh, at the vintage store? Oh, that's right. We went vintage shopping last oh, year. Sorry. I'll link that video down below. I actually watched that video last night. Yeah. It's funny how much you and me changed <laughs> in two years. Okay, we move locations. This is a better location. Look at this location. There you go. There you go. Mine's been like that since you got here. And then Kai setting up some spike ball. Come and get me! No! 
you got me. Okay, my turn to get you. Okay, to get you. Hello. Oh. Sorry, excuse the lighting. I think it's like 11:30 right now, and Atley literally just fell asleep. So, um, but anyways, I want to show you the drink that I have been using for a little bit. I got this. Um, I actually asked Timmy to send this to me because I have. <laughs> wow. I actually asked Timmy to send this to me because I actually have issues with feeling relaxed and I have a hard time sleeping. This is not for like to help you to sleep, but um, the Timmy Restore, if you can see it, oh my lord, oh that's bright. The Timmy Restore is um, to balance your body and mind. And so I was drinking for like the past like year or so, um, Natural Calm Vitality, an anti-stress drink from Whole Foods. And um, you guys know that I love like Timmy, so when I saw this come out, ooh, when I saw this come out, um, like a little while ago, I asked to try it. And I actually really, really like it a lot, but I wanna give you some tips on how to make it like taste good in my opinion. Um, how did the light change? Anyways, um, it is vitamin C, calcium, and magnesium, and a lot of times you don't get all those particular things in your food and whatnot, you don't get enough of it, so actually it helps like make you feel renewed, reset, and restored. So I kind of felt like I did that today, whereas I, um, I got clingy, um, whereas I got a haircut, we went to the park and like exercise, and then we, then I came home, and now I'm taking this. So actually it, it helps me feel more relaxed, and it's good for my body and so that's the most important thing so basically when i first tried it i didn't really like it because i filled up like a whole big glass of water and it was honestly very light for me but what i did is that i just got some warm water that's like very little like probably half a cup i'm not sure about this much this is a small little cup and then i get two tablespoons of this restore powder and it's supposed to taste like orange citrus but to me it tastes like it tastes like an orange creamsicle so when it's only this much amount of water, it actually is like the flavor that I like, a little like citrusy, a little sweet. If you put too much water, honestly, I think it doesn't taste, it kind of tastes a little bland to me personally, but yeah, so I just drink this before I go to sleep. And yeah, you get your calcium, your vitamin C, and your magnesium. So it's uh, supposed to help you unwind and de-stretch naturally. And I really like that, you know, Timmy um, has like no GMOs and gluten-free. Anyways, I wanted to share it with you guys before I head to bed because I don't know like um, I find that a lot of times mommies or a lot of times women do have a hard time like just de-stressing at night and so Yeah, I'll take a little before I go to bed and let me try it right now And the cool thing it's like very like fizzy which I really like it's like a little fizzy and it looks like this but as always I have a coupon code for you guys. And uh, yeah, Timmy did send this to me and I do get a small percentage of sales, but very, very little. And as you guys always know, I never share anything that I don't love and I really do like this. And so, what is it guys? JT, you wanna say goodnight? Mm -hmm. hey, oh, he's taking a flavor. Actually, the license, light is decent. Can I try it? Yeah, you wanna try it? Yeah. You've never tried it before. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm. Oh, it tastes really good. It tastes like Tang from the 80s. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> even but it though, has a good flavor. But it, even though it's like all um, all natural, so. It's super fizzy though, it tickles your throat. I like it. Yeah. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. All right, say goodnight. Goodnight, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.